Welcome back to episode 7 of me trying to play Monopoly in real life. So far I have been to Istanbul, Stonehenge, Athens, Venice and Dubai and I'm still in Dubai under the Burj Khalifa now. In the last roll I rolled a long distance flight and I came to Dubai. So now I'm just trying to find somewhere to open the board up so I can roll the next one. Right, here we go. This will do. We'll open it on this bench right under the Burj Khalifa. Right, here we go. Chance cards. Oh, I'm dropping them. Go there. Travel journal. Go there. And where was I? I was on long distance flight there. Before I roll this dice, can I ask you one massive favour, please? And I never ask this. Can you share this video or this series to just one friend? Just send them a link. Or if you could do more, that would be amazing. But just one person. I just really want this series to do well. And sometimes YouTube doesn't push stuff. So we'll see how it goes. But thank you so much. Right, come on, baby. Let's smash it. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If we roll a twelve, it's done. Oh my god, it's twelve now, but I've not rolled it yet. If I roll a twelve, it's done. But realistically, one, two, three. So it could be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So anywhere here. So what have we got? Anger what? Is that Cambodia? Then we've got New Zealand, Australia, India, and Boulders Beach, South Africa. And obviously we've got a chance in there, we've got a travel journal in there. Right, come on, let's see what we do. Are you ready for this? Un oh Jesus. Let's try again. Underneath the Burj Khalifa, we've got the dice. Come on. Here we go, wish me luck. Eleven. Six and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Boulders Beach. We are going to Boulders Beach. There's penguins on the beach. Oh my god, I'm sweating. We're going to South Africa. Where is Boulders Beach in South Africa? I'm sure it was Cape Town. Boulders Beach Penguin Colony. Oh wow, it is South, South Cape Town. We're going to Cape Town. That's going to be a massive flight from Dubai. How long of a flight is that? I need to sit down and have a look. Oh my god, I'm just looking at flights now. So there's two direct flights. There's one that leaves at 3.50 a.m. Well, I'm not going to make that now. By the time I check in and try and get to the gate, that's not happening. And there's another direct flight, which is 9.10 in the morning a.m. So I could make that. So there's two flights a day. Nine hours and 45 minutes is the flight. It's a 10-hour flight. I'm faced with two options. Do I fly at 10 past 9 in the morning, which, let's be honest, is in like 6-7 hours. It's quite close and I obviously I've not slept. Or do we spend the day in Dubai tomorrow and then go to Cape Town the day after? I reckon we just do it tomorrow, you know. The flight's not that expensive. Probably say about £500 one way for a 10-hour flight. That's not bad at all. And it is booked. We're going to Cape Town. Let's get this Monopoly board up. Let's start making a move. <laughs> It's the early hours of the morning and it's 32 degrees here. I am so wet in buckets, I need to change and have a shower. By the time I got out the airport, waited in the biggest taxi queue I have ever waited in, got the taxi here, rolled the dice and got to this point. It is now 3.29 a.m. in Dubai. The flight is at 10 past nine in the morning, so that's in what? Less than six hours. So there's absolutely no point whatsoever in booking a hotel because by the time I get there, have a shower, I'll have to check out and go to the airport. I'm thinking then, go straight to the airport, but I don't know if they'll check me in because normally like the most you can check in is like three hours before a flight, but I don't know if it's different in Dubai because if I can check in, I can then go to the lounge, get a shower, I can freshen up because honestly it's so hot and then we can go from there. I just need to find a taxi now to take me to the airport. I don't know how easy that's going to be at half three in the morning, but I'm going to head to the main road. Boulders Beach in Cape Town. I don't even know what it is. I don't know where I'm staying. I don't know anything. This is going to be an interesting one. The last view of the Burj Khalifa before I head in. That's an amazing building if you've never seen it. I remember the first time I saw it. Honestly, couldn't comprehend how big it actually is. Please tell me this taxi's free. Please tell me it's free. Hey, how are you? Are you free? You are free. Amazing. Can you put the aircon on? I am absolutely boiling. 
airport please 15 minutes back to the airport now i did not think i would be going straight back to the airport i just hope i can check in early can i pay card please how much is the taxi 42 42. shukriya thank you have a good day see you later mate what are the chances do you reckon of getting an upgrade on this flight 10 hours oh I need to give Trek Trendy a call and ask him what's the best way to upgrade. If you've not checked his videos out, they're amazing. Trek Trendy. Great channel, great guy and great videos. Let me get to this check-in desk now and see how I get on. It is so nice to be in aircon in this airport. It is so hot outside. Oh my god, this airport is dead. Look, there's absolutely nobody here. Right, wish me luck with this. Please get an upgrade. Hey, how are you? Uh, just check into a flight, please. Can I check in early yes. to a flight? What time is your flight? Uh, nine ten. Yes, I can do that. Too. I can. Flight? Uh, Cape Town, because normally you can only check in like three hours before, but here I can check in any time. This is why I like Emirates. My next question is: Can I upgrade this flight? Please tell me I can. There is uh, nine seats at the moment. Nine seats in business. Yeah. And how much miles is it? Forty-six eight hundred. Forty-six thousand eight hundred miles. And how many miles do I have on my account? One ten eight seventy-eight. Okay, so I have enough miles to book it. Let's do it with miles. For the seat, you check at the gate. Eh? Ah, okay, I can't book the seat here. I can only book the seat at the gate. Okay, no problem. I'm so happy. This is a ten-hour flight. Perfect. So that's everything, yeah? All checked in. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. My luck is in tonight. I am so happy with that. Not only can I check in early and go to the lounge for a shower, but I've managed to upgrade to business with 46,000 miles. It's a lot of miles, but still, I've got them, so I'm not complaining. Oh, I'm starting to feel tired now, though. Jesus. Right, let's get through security. All good, it. thank you so much. It's now 4.10 in the morning, where is my flight? It only goes up to 8.45, my flight's not even on there, so I don't even know where to go. Thankfully it says on the boarding pass, gate C. Get me in this lounge, unlimited food, showers the lot, and I don't even need to sneak in. I think I prefer to sneak in, to be honest. Emirates Business Class Lounge. Hi, Hi how are you? And is there a shower in this lounge? Yes, there, is, there is showers, yeah. amazing. Enjoy. Ah, there we go. Get me in that shower. Male toilet and showers. Hey, how are you? Where's the shower? Shower here. Do I need to get towels or anything like that? Everything's in. Ah, okay. Thank you so much for your help. Ah, amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, I cannot wait for the shower. I am so happy. I feel fresh now. This is what we're dealing with in this lounge. We've got loads of things. Showers, champagne lounge. What else we've got? Desserts, that sounds good. Asian cuisine, international cuisine, Middle Eastern cuisine. What cuisine would I fancy today? I think I'd rather sleep cuisine. I'm gonna take a walk down here and see what they've got. Here we go, Middle Eastern and Western. What have we got? Hash browns. I saw your vlog uh, featuring the first class. You yeah. saw my video? Yes, that's Where where are you from? From Philippines. So. Ah, nice. I need to go to Philippines. You haven't been there. Not you yet. Should go, I should go. should go. Where do you recommend in Philippines? Cebu, of course. Cebu. I'm from Cebu. Ah, nice. I've heard good things about Cebu. Enjoy your stay, sir. Thank you so much. It's so nice to meet you. What was your name? Katia, sir. Katia. Katia, yes. Katia so nice to meet you. Also, Wait for my video in the Philippines. Oh. It will come. I promise. Mushrooms. Let's get some egg. Katia, can I steal the ketchup? I'll take the whole bottle. Thank you so much. I tell you what, I need this. I cannot wait to get on that flight and just have a sleep. Food done, my eyes are closing. I'm gonna get the gate info now and then we'll head to the gate to finally get on this plane. Cape Town gate C12. It still hasn't properly sank in that I'm actually going to South Africa yet, to be honest. That might be due to the fact that I'm still half asleep. Here we go, gate C12A. Hi. Um, I, I upgraded with Miles on the desk, but he said that I needed to do it at the gate. Can I just see your boarding pass? So you got upgraded to business? I have been upgraded yeah. to business. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can't say I've ever been down a red carpet staircase to board a plane before. Business class? Yeah. Oh, get me on that plane. I'm going from summer in Dubai to winter in South Africa. Hi, how are you? Very well. Thanks for asking. Thank you very much. much.
Oh, look at my seat. I am so grateful for this. The flight's like nine hours and 45 minutes. Let's see how much of it I actually sleep. Cheers, thank you very much. I'm just thinking, well, I've got signal, I'll book a hotel. I've booked one next to the water in Cape Town, right, like sort of in the centre, but near the water. I don't know if it's any good, but we'll find out when we get there. I have never been to Cape Town in my life. Obviously, I went to Johannesburg when I did seven continents in seven days. I have never gone to Cape Town, so I have not got a clue what it's going to be like there. South Africa's known to be dangerous, so I don't know if Cape Town's going to be the same. We're finally taking off. I couldn't have a mattress if that's okay. Of course. Yeah. Cheers, Perfect. thank you. Thank you so much. I have literally not slept a wink. Oh, no. So I'm hoping I am going to sleep for this whole flight. Hope you get to rest. Thank you. So I can get some earplugs as well yeah, if that's course. okay. No. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, look at my bed. Are you ready for this? I'm turning it into a bed. There's my quilt. Happy days. I've got my mattress. We're all sorted. Right, let's hope I get some sleep because I need it. Good night. Oh, I needed that. Right, do you want to see how long I've slept for? Time left, 1.55. Flight time is over nine hours and I've got one hour 55 to go, so I've slept a good seven hours. I feel like I can sleep another seven hours as well. In one hour and 55 minutes, we will be landing in Cape Town. This is exciting. Oh, I'd love a brew now. Oh, cheers, thank you so much. Put it here, okay? Yeah, perfect. Oh, that's amazing. Thank Sort me right out. English breakfast tea and a shortbread. I tell you, it's the little things. Good brew, that. 10 out of 10 Emirates. Cheers, thanks very much. Have a good one. See you later. Thank you. And we're in Cape Town, South Africa. I can't say I've ever said that on a video before. My first time in Cape Town. I really haven't got a clue what to expect. But Cape Town's been somewhere I've always wanted to go, so I'm looking forward to this. Right, let's get through passport control and security. Where's the exit? Is it this way? We met it. Just over here. Perfect. Thank you, mate. I've just come out of the baggage reclaim and it is extremely busy in this airport. The time now is 5.48 in the afternoon. Obviously it's winter in South Africa so the sun does go down like soon so I haven't got a lot of daylight. Here you go. Welcome to the mother city. I haven't got a clue where I'm going here, I'm just following the crowd, but I need to find a taxi, preferably a legit one. So many people warned me when I went to Joburg and South Africa, saying how dangerous it is, but again, how amazing it is at the same time. So, I don't know if Cape Town is on that level, but we're gonna find out. Where do I get a taxi round here? Here we go. Authorised airport taxis. Uh, how are you, mate? You good? These are authorised. Yes, Airport we are. Taxi. Okay, perfect, thank you. Booked a hotel. Can you take me there? Yes, I can. Okay, amazing. I'll be your driver. Yeah, yeah. perfect, you thank you. Go. How much is it, by the way? Water front is uh, how much? 480. 480. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm good at you, how are you? Yeah, nice. What's your name? Richard. Richard, nice to meet you, Richard. Likewise, See you later. Sir. What's your name, mate? Monwa. 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 My name's Simon. Simon. It's lovely to meet you, mate. Right, My first time in Cape Town. Hi, my man. man. Only now you come. I know, now I only come. And it's getting dark. You're staying for how long? I don't know how long I'm staying for, we see. Okay, boss, I see you've got no luggage also with you. No luggage, only my backpack. Yes, Am I dressed right in shorts and t-shirt? Cold? It's winter time now. Yeah, it's, it's winter, winter so yeah. It can be somewhere there in the LA. Yeah. Region. Are you from Cape Town? You yeah. born here? 100% me here. Ah, nice. 100%. And do you like Cape Town? Is it good? Well, everything is normal for me. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm used to the mountain, the nature, the oceans, diversity, everything. Yeah, amazing. Have you ever been to Johannesburg? I have been to And how do you find Johannesburg to Cape Town? Number one is too populated. Johannesburg too? Johannesburg, yes. So is Cape Town better? Cape Town is better, more diverse in the sense of the atmosphere and also crime is high there. Yeah, very. So, so is the crime, because obviously people say it's dangerous in Johannesburg, is it not so dangerous in Cape Town or, or do I need to be careful? I would say it depends where you are. Not everywhere in Cape Town is, is bad compared to Johannesburg. Yeah, there are yeah. some sections or parts in Johannesburg yeah, that yeah. can be bad. Yeah, it's the same yeah. as Cape Town. I'm Which just, car are we I'm in? Just, yeah. Ah, with an X car. Yeah. 
Ah, perfect. This is ours. You can jump in. Go around, around the, the other side. side. Ah, okay. Well, I don't mind driving. I'll drive if you want me. We might crash, but. So the address of the hotel I give you, is it? Is that a good area? Is that a safe area? The, the hotel is in city centre. The That's hotel's in the city centre? And city centre is one most safe area. It's one of the most safe areas. One That's what we like to hear. Area. I want to finish my video. I don't want to lose my camera. How far is the hotel from here? 25 minutes. 25 minutes from here. Ah, not too bad. So like in Johannesburg, like they have like the smash and grab on the side of the streets. Do you have that in Cape Town? We do have that. Yeah. But in a few selected areas. You know the areas where that happens then, yeah, so you avoid yeah. that. Has that ever happened to you? Not just smash and grab, but I almost got hijacked. You almost got hijacked? Yeah. You're joking. How did that happen? You know, there's that Uber thing app. I used to be on that before. So someone used uh, a false name and they were paying cash on that thing. So I received yeah. that request, not knowing that the names, there is not the person that has requested. And there were three, three passengers. So it was two guys and then one female. And did they get in the car? Well, they got in the car. The first guy sits here and the second one sits like where you're sitting now. Yeah. And the lady was sitting behind me. Yeah. So I just moved away from the house, turned first corner, second corner, and as I was changing to the third gear, this guy here, yeah, he pulled the handbrake while the car was. He pulled the handbrake. Now I'm shocked. Now the car goes like this. So what? I got shocked. Now what is happening? He pulled the handbrake pulled the up handbrake. in third gear. In third gear. <laughs> Now I'm still shocked at what's happening. So the car, car comes to a dead still. So I'm looking at this guy. Why yeah. this guy is looking at me? This one here. Yeah. He pulls <laughs> a long knife like this. He pulls a long knife. Ah, oh, my man, that day. What did you do? I could do nothing. Both the lady jumped over the seat. She held me with the seat like this. Oh my the god. The woman, woman. Uh, Help me like this with the seat. Flipping, eh? And the knife was coming from this right, this right side of my <laughs> ear. Oh my god. So what did you do? Just get out the car? I had to comply for a few seconds there, but they were searching me now. You see, they're yeah, searching me, yeah. taking the necessaries in the car. So I think this guy got distracted by something. So I took off my seat belt quickly, and then I got out of the car, then I ran off. And did they, they obviously took the car? No, this was a funny thing. The key was in the ignition. Okay. They didn't take the car. They took everything that was portable in the car. Like yeah. my phones, the GPS, the money. Even yeah. remember the session, they took my wallet. They opened the boot, they took the spare wheel tire. They took it and they walk, walked away. But they left the car right in the middle of the road. Jesus. So you got the car back? I got the car back. That is insane. You stopped doing Uber. Two things I did. I never put a seat belt if, not, if I'm not coming from the airport. Really? You'd never put a seatbelt on? Seat ah, because you were stuck with a seatbelt. Number two, I never put a passenger from outside if it's not at the airport behind me. I always, I want them next to Ah, okay, so you always put the passenger yeah, in, in the passenger. Yeah, you to be cautious, yeah. Well, you'll be glad to know that I'm not hijacking your car today. Well, <laughs> <laughs> from the airport, they trust you. Right, yeah. I'm going to pull the handbrake yeah, up. Where is it? Where yeah, is it? You, you know what I mean. Yeah, so that day, yeah. So, yeah, man, you know, this thing can protect you, but at the same time, it can put you in a situation where you can defend yourself. Yeah, for sure. You in the UK, it's it safety. In South Africa, the seatbelt's bad. But remember, every minute you try to move. <laughs> so I'm like trying to, this thing keeps on holding me back. <laughs> I could do nothing. So do you do Uber anymore? No. I stopped. Long time. Really? Is Long Uber time. dangerous? Yeah, yeah, the thing is not worth it. What mountain is this here? That looks amazing. Okay, this one is Devil's Peak. Devil's Peak? Devil's Peak, yeah. Oh, wow. So Where's Table Mountain? Just after we've made a turn next to Devil's Peak towards the city center, then you will see the actual Table Mountain. Ah, amazing. Just looking out the window and seeing the sunset here is crazy. Am I safe to walk around here then? Yeah, you are. But try not to walk too much at night. Rather really? During the day. So would you recommend going out tonight or not? You can, but try to move with a transport that's going to take you from the hotel to a particular place. Ah, okay. So don't walk. Yeah, don't walk because you won't know if the street is the right street to walk to or how dark the street is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I really need to be careful then walking around in the dark. 
especially at night. Really? Yeah. Wow, flipping egg. You know, when you're in Dubai or you're in the UK, you take it for granted that you can just walk around. Oh. Is this the hotel here? This is the way. Ah, man. perfect. Monwa, you're a legend. Thank you so, so much. Mm. I appreciate all your advice as well, mate. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. And you're whatever welcome. you do, stay off Uber. We don't want any more handbrakes <laughs> going up in third yeah. gear. Can I leave a tip? Yeah, you can. Uh, can you do 700? Seven, thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. No problem, mate. I really thanks, appreciate man. everything. Thanks, will you get the tip? Yeah, I will. Ah, I will. you will. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank Mama, you, very thank much, you man. so much, mate. Do it's, enjoy, yeah? It's lovely to do meet enjoy. you. Yeah. Wish right. me luck. Let's yeah, hope I, I leave too. Cape Town with my camera. Look yes, after yourself. I will. We'll see you later. Monwa, what a man. Just coming into the hotel now. As if I can't walk around at night or I've got to think about it. Right, let me check in. Hi, how are you? You good? Just want to check in, please. We have upgraded you to an executive suite for tonight. Amazing, thank um, you, you so been much. To that before, Mr. Um, I haven't, first time in Cape Town. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm really looking and forward to it. Where can I go out from the hotel? Can I just walk around or not? Not tonight, no. You'd recommend not to? No, because look, it is getting a bit dark outside. Yeah. By the lower part of the CBD area, so yeah. it's going to be very quiet. Nobody in the road. Yeah. So I don't advise that. You don't advise it. Okay, no problem. Do you take an Uber or a cab? Please take an Uber or a cab. <laughs> is it that dangerous? It's so surprising, well, isn't it? I'm going to tell you what. We know them. They yeah. see us around you all the time. Yeah, yeah. But they're going to try their luck with you. Maybe if I put my best South African accents on, they might not. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. But just, you know, honestly, just please check it out. Yeah. Yeah. No okay. worries. That's amazing. You're Lovely welcome. to meet you. Thank, Thank you so awesome. much. Have a nice night. It's crazy to think that you just can't walk out at night. It's mad. What world do we live in? But equally, it just makes you so grateful to like live in the UK where obviously it's dangerous, don't get me wrong, but equally, you wouldn't have to think about walking around at night. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's insane. It's such a shame. It's like that though, because all the people are so friendly and nice. It doesn't need to be like that. Right, 16.38, this way. Here we go. Oh yes, look at this place. So basically, there's the door. We've got like a living room area here. Then this is the bedroom. Obviously it's a suite because you've got the living room. Come over here, and then you've got a view of Cape Town out there, and I'm guessing that's all downtown. So this is the bedroom. Come through here into the bathroom. Robe, shower, bath double sink and then toilet through there. I can't complain with this. Nice room. I tell you what, now I've got in here. I am hitting a brick wall. I am ruined. Oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Thank you for calling Say Espresso. I'm going to assist you. Hiya, mate. How are you? You good? I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, I'm very good now I've spoken to you. Can I order some food to the room, please? What, do you do, like, burgers? Yes, we do beef and chicken, sir. Which one is better? The nice one. Uh, you can choose the chicken burger. Let's do that. Let's do the chicken burger with fries. What other food can I order? If you want to order something to drink. Can I get a Coca-Cola then as well? Coca-Cola, extra fries, chicken burger with fries, lots of fries, lots of ketchup. Happy days. No problem. I'm going to make everything possible for you. You're a good man. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Bye. Bye. I tell you what. I love South Africa. This place is great. Hi, how are you? Good. You're good. Oh, look how good this in? looks. Yeah, of course you can. Thanks so much. I can't wait to try it. If we're gonna have an early start, we're gonna need an early night ready for Boulders Beach in the morning. It's gonna be an interesting one, this, and I'm looking forward to it. Let's hope we get some sleep. Good night. Morning. Ugh, right, no messing about this morning or I'll end up staying in bed forever. Morning, how are you? Good, sir. Nice to meet How are you? Are you good? Boulders Beach. Let's get going. I think I'll just order a taxi from reception. Hey, how are you? Can I check out, please? Thank you so much. Everybody's so friendly here. I love it. <laughs> I need to move to South Africa. You should, you should. I know, tell me about it. Are you here on business or? Just visiting Boulders Beach. Nice. nice. Yeah, I've never been. Have you been? I have. Is yes. it good? Very nice. Worth to see? 
yes. Interesting. The penguins. Ah, nice. Is the penguins there now? Yes, sir. Definitely. We've got it in summer, winter. Really? <laughs> Flipping heck, they're here every time of the year. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. See you later. Can I order a taxi if that's okay? Sure, wait. Um, to Boulders Beach. To Boulders Beach? Yeah. Is that far? It's about an hour away. It's an hour away? Ah, so he can take me and then he can walk around with me, can he? Correct, correct. So, like, is it that dangerous around there? No, it's, it's crazy. Dangerous. We'd say it's dangerous, but yeah. if someone might try that, I can take advantage of that. Really? Well. So rather just prevent that whole thing. Yeah, no, for sure. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I really appreciate you trying no, to no, solve no. this. So he said it's going to be 3,500 because um, Boulder's Beach is so far out. Yeah, that's fine. So he will stroll along with you wherever that you go. He's really nice. Ah, amazing. Thank so you so much. Be appreciate it. Minutes. 10 minutes. Great. Thank you so much. It is just mental, isn't it, that you can't walk around. But with my inexperience of South Africa, I don't know what my chances are to to be honest, if I'd been here a lot and I got a feel for the place, I'd probably just go out on my own. But I don't fancy going out with this camera and losing it. It's just not worth it, is it? Hopefully with this guy who's gonna take me, we can get a good feel for the place. But I don't know who's taking me. I don't know what his name is, but he should be here soon. Hey, how are you? I'm Talent, man. Ah, Talent? Talent, yes. Talent. And your name is? Simon. Simon. So how do I see so your I'm name? I'm taking you to Simon's town, to your You're town. You're taking me to where? To your town, Simon's town. What do you mean? Boulder's Beach is in Simon's town. Boulder's Beach is in Simon's town. Correct. This is my town, mate. <laughs> this is my town. <laughs> Do you mind if I sit in the front? Yeah, sure, sit in front. Amazing. Man. So wait a minute, Boulder's Beach is in Simon's Town. It's in Simon's Town. I was like, oh man. So is Simon? You are Simon going to Simon's Town. You mate, you, you couldn't town, write really? this. You couldn't <laughs> write it. So the town is called Simon's Town. The town like is Cape si Town. Exactly. Oh so wow. So it's Boulder's Beach. It's in Simon's Town. The area itself is called Simon's Town. This is amazing. Yeah. I think I need to live here. In I, your I, town. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so where are you from, so, mate? Are you from Cape Town? I was born in Zimbabwe, so I moved here about 15 years ago. So how come you moved from Zimbabwe to Cape Town then? It's a very weird story actually. Really? It's a very long story, yes. Oh mate, give me the short version, Look, I'm interested. Um, when I finished studying, right? Yeah. I decided I'm just gonna go on a holiday, but I'm gonna have to go somewhere. I just decided, okay, let me go to the next long distance buses actually. It was leaving to South Africa. So I was yeah, like, okay, yeah. cool, let me get into that bus. Boom, I'm, the next day I'm in South Africa. Mate, that's so, <laughs> Mate, I'm a so, big fan of that. Then the guy that I was sitting next to in the bus he was like man job is not safe so try Cape Town instead and I was yeah. like okay cool I'm you know I might as well do that so I got to Cape Town two days later I met a very good friend of mine you know I lost contact long time ago yeah so I met him at the beach and I was like oh cool brother stay here my guy forget yeah, about going yeah. back so that's our state until no now way. <laughs> and that was 15 years ago yeah that's what was 15 years May, ago that's Class. <laughs> I have a similar story. When I was 26, before I started making videos, I literally had 200 pounds to my name. So what's oh, wow. that? About 4,000 rand or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I went. I took a um, a one-way flight to Boston in the US. Yeah. And I lived with basically no money for like three months. And I was just getting little jobs and thing. And I started making videos. And here I am. How beautiful, yeah. man. What's amazing about like your story is when you put yourself out there to do something, yeah. you don't know where it takes you. Correct. You, uh, don't, you don't know, you just have to believe. Yeah, exactly. A hundred percent. And is it safe here? Like you hear so many like yeah. like the people in the hotel, like, oh you yeah. can't really walk around like at night, there's no chance. Like, what's your thoughts on that? Look, the problem is with tourists is they want to look tourists yeah. when they are in a place. Yeah. Some people they take advantage of that. I've been but here taking, 15 years, I got robbed once. Yeah. Which yeah. could possibly happen even in in Boston or in the What it happened to you once? It happens to me once. What happened if you don't mind me asking? Well, I picked up somebody. A local just guy. took advantage. A local guy or? A local guy, yeah. But he just took advantage. So In what like, way? How whatever. did he take advantage? He had a gun, so he just... Did you see that he had a gun? Yeah, he just pointed up. He just pointed here. Like, what, he put the gun to your head? Yeah, and I was like, what do you want, my guy? He said, give me what do you have. I gave him a phone. 
money which I had. He put the gun to your neck. Yeah, but I don't know if it was fake or because I didn't yeah. want, I didn't want him to I didn't want him to test it to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't want him to try it out. Okay. Was that a long time ago? Yeah, that's a, that's about five years. About five years ago. Yeah, wow. What's Simon's Town like? In 1982, that's when they brought in two pairs of penguins, and they've been breeding until now. They're over three thousand. Oh, so they brought the penguins there. So it wasn't right. like a natural thing where no, they came. No, they brought them in 1982. 82, yes. And they've been breeding there ever since. They've been breeding ever since. Wow. How many penguins are there? Over three thousand. Three thousand? Yeah, there are a lot of penguins. There. Oh wow! I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing this. Yeah. How many times have you been to Boulders Beach? That could be over a thousand times. Over a thousand times. <laughs> Is it a nice beach? It's a beautiful beach, man. Is it? And in summer, you can actually swim with the penguins. Yeah. That's how nice it is. The jet lag is getting to me. I don't even know what time zone I'm in. I'm just like <laughs> bang, 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 bang everywhere. As long as you can see the sun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is there snakes on the mountains? Of course there are snakes. You're in Africa, man. There's oh, a lot wow. of snakes. M maybe I won't go hiking then. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you hardly find the snakes. Like ever since I've been hiking, I only saw snake that was once. It's not Listen, like... seeing one snake is enough for me. <laughs> seeing one snake is enough. The snakes are nice. They always run away from people. Snakes are different from lions and yeah, rhinos yeah. and stuff like that. What, you haven't seen any rhinos up there, have you? No, there's, there's, there's none. There's none. <laughs> How far are we from the best town in the world? Um, just, yeah. This is Simon's Town over That's here? Town over oh, there, we're not far away now. I cannot wait to go to my town. <laughs> what are the chances of rolling Boulders Beach on Monopoly and it being in Simon's Town? Look at the sea. That's amazing. It's so blue. You could not pay me to go in that sea. No. Why? and get eaten by a shark. No, <laughs> thank you. Not today. I wouldn't get in there for a million pounds. There'd be sharks in there, wouldn't there? There'll be sharks, yes. And that's why I'm not going in. <laughs> There's about three months food for them, eh? <laughs> yeah. Apparently somebody was saying that they bite because they think you're a, a seal. Uh, seal. Yeah, but yeah. they realise now you're full of bones, they just leave. I know, but the problem is they'll bite me and think I'm still a seal. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, oh no, this dude is a seal. Unless you're full of steak, man. Exactly. <laughs> Listen, there's plenty of McDonald's in here for him. <laughs> Why is this town called Simon's Town? It was named after the British guy who was part of the military. Ah, really? He had a great name. He had a great name. <laughs> <laughs> we might be lucky to spot some baboons. Baboons? Yeah. Monkeys? Correct. Why, where are the baboons? Roaming around. Roaming around? You're winding me up. There's baboons casually walking around? Yes. Man. Do they not attack people? Baboons are dangerous, aren't they? Not really. People that say not that really. are, baboons are dangerous, but to me, baboons are not dangerous. If they see you with fruits, then they will come and grab the fruits. What about Big Macs? Do they come after them? No. Chicken sandwiches? Yeah, they're not worried about that. <laughs> Oh, we're safe then, we're so safe. this is now um, the, the Simon's Town, the harbour. This is it, we're so coming into we're it. we're going to look for parking and then we walk down to the harbour. Oh, amazing. We're now getting into Simon's Town. I swear down, if I see any baboons walking around, I'm going to leg it. You're going to sprint. Sprint, well, I, I wouldn't go that far. I don't know if I can sprint, but I'll run as quick as I can. <laughs> Did they just walk around the centre? Oh, yes. Yes. You could not write this. Look at it. Welcome to Simon's Town. We are now in the centre of Simon's Town. It's quite small to be fair. You've got some shops across the road. Here you've got restaurants, coffee shop, bank and an estate agent. Nice little place really. Reminds me a bit of like a Welsh seaside town. I'm just praying that I don't see any baboons. This is the fish and chip place, man. Oh my God, look at this. The Salty Sea Dog, Simon's Town, fish and chips. There is no way I am leaving Simon's Town without getting fish and chips from that place. You gonna have fish and chips with me? Oh yes, definitely. 100%. Definitely. We're just coming onto the harbour now. Welcome to Simon's Town. Yeah. Mate, it's really nice here. It's windy, isn't it? It is, always. Oh yeah, we've got people fishing here. Oh, you've caught something. What fish is that? That one is a shame shark. A shame shark? That one feels like sandpaper. Like, oh, wow. Yeah, it's like sandpaper. It feels like oh, sandpaper, wow. man. Th and that's a shark? Yeah, it's a shame shark. 
Oh, Jesus. Well, good luck fishing anyway. Thanks, man. Have a good one, lovely Thanks to meet you. Right. Seeing him fishing's made me hungry. We're gonna go for fish and chips. <laughs> so, right, what have we got? Salty sea dog. What do you recommend then, mate? The king clip. The king clip? It's a common fish. A common fish. Should we try a king clip? Yeah. Okay, can we have a king clip? I don't know what to expect when this king clip turns up. That's a king clip. That's a king clip. Yeah. Mate, that looks horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> That's a king clip. But it's very cool. Mate, it looks like an octopus's leg. It's grilled. That's fried. Fries yeah. and king clip. This looks amazing. How is it, mate? Good? Probably. Right, I'm trying king clip for the first time. Are you ready for this, mate? Mm. It's like cod in the UK. Yeah, exactly the same. I like it, mate. This is a great recommendation. The King Clip was a great recommendation. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Thank you so much. See you later. Have a good day. Oh, yeah. Estate agents. How much are these properties? So, nine beds, seven bathrooms, five million rand. I don't even know how much that is. What's five million rand? 227,000. Is that it? 227 grand for a nine bedroom house? That's cheap. I think I'm gonna have to move to Simon's Town and buy a nine bed house. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. If the winter is like this as well, this is like summer in the UK. Is it as cold as it gets in the winter here? Uh, sometimes it gets a little bit colder than this, but this is generally this is average. This is average. This is, average, yeah. this is the peak of summer in the UK. <laughs> How far is Boulders Beach from here? Uh, that's about 10 minutes. So 10 so minutes drive or walk? A walk. A oh, walk walking. Distance. Yes. Ah, okay, we'll walk it. So, so let me ask you this. If I was walking down here on my own with this camera without you, would I have a problem no or not? No problem, no problem, absolutely no problem. Because I don't feel like I would have a problem. Hi, how are you? You good? Good, good, good. Ah, good. People are so no, friendly really. around of here. Course. Of course. I love South Africa. Problem. You would walk around with your camera, no problem, yeah. We're just making the walk to Boulders Beach now. We've just come from Simonstown, which is down there, the centre. I'm not too sure which way we're going, but we're just yeah, heading yeah, straight yeah. up here. Yeah. Personally, getting the vibe, I think I could have done this on my own. I could have walked this on my oh, own without much. any trouble, wouldn't oh, I? Course. How far have we got to go here, mate? Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> Get me to Boulders Beach. I tell you, it's windy here, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy, man. So windy. Look at these views from here. I hope this camera does it justice. But the sea and then the mountains in the back, it's amazing. Here we go, we're getting closer. And the reason I know that is because that is the first sign I've seen with a penguin on it. Here we go, the sea's just behind me in the back. You can tell we're getting closer to the beach now because it's getting quite busy. It's quite busy down here, mate. Oh, it's always busy. Is it? Uh, this is not that busy, but it can be a lot busier than this. So Boulders Beach is actually a big tourist attraction then? Oh yes, Very, a lot of tourists come to this place. I'd never heard of it until really? I opened the Monopoly board. <laughs> never! Man, this place is crazy, I promise you. Here we go, Are you ready for it? Welcome to Boulders, home of African penguin. Okay, so from here you should be able to see penguins. Yeah, okay. From here? There, there are the penguins. There's a penguin? Oh, oh yes. my! Here are the penguins. As you can see, this is um, a penguin egg. Can oh, you I see think it? he's going to bite your finger. <laughs> oh, that's um, a penguin that's egg. That's a penguin Look egg over there. And those are baby penguins. Those ones over there. Ah, there's Can more you see penguins. With the, the brown feathers. Look at this penguin. Yeah. And then he's egg. not going to go for me, is he? Don't get too close. Just don't Look get at the close. egg on the side. So how many eggs do they lay? Just the Two. one? Two. Two. So there'll be another egg underneath her, I'm guessing. Yeah, probably somewhere there. Oh, look at her. And she's looking after her egg. Oh, look at her looking after her egg. Look at these here. This little fella's literally taking twigs to build his nest. He's on a mission. These are the plastic nest. Ah, these two? Correct. Oh, three? Ah, there's loads there's of them. A lot of them, yes. They put them for the penguins so that they can lay eggs in them. But they, then they don't like them. They prefer their own. Team. So who put them there? Like the National, the National Park? Parks, yes. The National Park put them there, but they don't even use them. they just rather they go in the trees. Them. I think it's probably because it's too hot. This is plastic. This is like plastic, man. Yeah. And you know, with the temperatures that we get here, about 30 degrees, it should yeah, definitely too be too hot, hot for them. It's mad to think that we're seeing penguins in this climate because in the UK, we yeah. always associate penguins with like 
like Antarctica or the cold. Did you get what I mean? So oh, to just yes. see them in like blue sky is crazy. Yeah, here here they love it. It's nice and warm as well. Yeah, they still survive pretty well even in summer when the even if the weather is like 30 degrees, they still do perfectly fine. Yeah, as we're walking down to the beach all the penguins are just all in these trees along and there's 3,000 of them in total over 3,000 in total wow yeah. here we go first sign of the beach down here look at this there's a little babies oh little baby look babies. at them they're tiny yeah man it's they're beautiful. tiny there are so many penguins here yeah. we've just come off the wooden track we're just coming down to the beach now where mate yeah. oh we're going left here yeah. ah this is it ah do we need to pay to go on the beach yes so no one is allowed to get in here. We have to go all the way back to buy a ticket. Yeah, because they say there's no electricity here. We've got to walk all the way back to the start to buy a ticket. Getting those steps in, losing weight. Come on, let's go, mate. <laughs> one local, one uh, standard. How much is it for a ticket? Oh, 176. 176. Amazing. Thank you. Thanks so much. Cheers. Thank you. Cool. We're cooking on gas. We've got the tickets. 176 rand. What's that in pounds? Eight pounds. <laughs> Eight pounds. Ah, not too bad. Now for the massive walk back right let's try again all right all good we're good this time the final stretch we are coming onto the beach now here it is and i have made it boulders beach south africa let's go and see if we can find a penguin there's definitely no penguins on the beach there's a lot in the trees here but none actually here can you just see penguins on the other side there on the tree? Ah, yeah, the penguins are on there. Right, yeah. They're just on the rocks over there. I don't think you can see from the camera, but... At summertime, there will be a lot of penguins in this water. That's when people can swim with the penguins. But in winter, they go into the trees and breed, They go right? into the trees and breed. This is amazing. I'm so glad I rolled 11 on the board. Look at it. You see all the mountains in the back. Amazing. Boulders Beach. It took a lot of time to get here, but we finally did it. I appreciate your help, mate. Cool, man. Thank you so much. At this point, I would be getting the Monopoly board back out and rolling again to see where I'm going next. But as Boulders Beach is the last place on the board before go, whatever I roll, I will have done one full lap of the board. I hope you've enjoyed this Monopoly challenge as much as I've enjoyed making it. I really appreciate everybody who's watched the videos because that's what allows me to do things like this. Thank you. As I've said, I am giving away the Monopoly game that I've used for this challenge. So if you want to win that, like and comment below and share this video to somebody and I will be DMing someone to give that away. What a place to finish this series. Until next time, bye for now.